let's go to um, Ari's up. And uh, Ari was uh, was not too happy about not winning the first ever Battle of the Fans, JLC. I heard from him on Instagram. I heard from him on YouTube. Ari took that one uh, a little hard, man. He, he, he wasn't happy about it, man. Ari, how you feeling tonight, man? I mean, that was a brutal loss. But um, regarding, regarding the, the fight, I mean... We also had, I, I got clowned on July 1st when everyone said, you know, what happened with that. And then we, we, we know what happened with that afterwards. So don't worry. By the end of the season, there'll be more hashtags. Sorry, Ari's coming and all that. So don't worry. I took the receipt. So we'll let it, we'll let it rock. But, um, you know, <laughs> it's all right. But no, I don't think we're going to be hearing from Sergio tonight after the way Julius Randle plays. Let's just put it that way. Too many people on Sergio, right? I, I, I took note of who, who, who voted for Sergio, <laughs> by the way. Just he took the receipts. All right, so. All right, no doubt, no doubt. We'll see what happens, man. I have man. the list, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I don't. I mean, we all know. I don't. I don't. I want to hear the Julius fans come public tonight. All right, go, go back. Let's hear, let's hear the hive tonight. All right. All right, man. All right, JL. So let's hear from the champion of the first ever. Uh, Battle of the Fans. He goes by Sergio from uh, Jersey. Uh, Sergio, um, how are you feeling the today? The champ is here. The champ is here. Sergio, what's going on? You know, man? I don't want to talk about losses because we're going to have plenty of time during the season to talk about that. Okay. I want to talk about this controversy regarding my title belt, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see there's a lot of people in the chat wearing their Waldenado family reunion shirts. A lot of cats in the chat wearing their shirts. You know what I'm saying? But seeing that your man, Ari Kellerman, can't keep my name out of his mouth, and he says that the numbers don't lie. So let's talk about some numbers, all right? All right. We're going to use career numbers. Okay. Julius Randle, career numbers, 16, 11, 3, on 50% shooting, 72% free throws. All right, you're not convinced. All right, let's talk about efficiency rating. His career efficiency rating is 17.5. Would you like to hit a couple of players that had a worse efficiency rating than him? Mike Conley, Bradley Beal, Jeru Holiday, and Tobias Harris. Oh, wait. You're not sold yet. All right, no doubt. Let's go with the per 36. 19 points, 11 rebounds, 3.5 assists on 50% shooting, 72% free, th uh, free throws. And because this nigga said he don't shoot no threes, if we take the threes out, he's shooting 52%. All right, you're still not sold. You're still not sold. Let's go with the abysmal win shares that your man was talking about. Last year, Julius Randle was 6.1. Again, would you like to hear the players that had a lesser win share than him? C.J. McCollum, Darren Fox, Jeru Holiday. Check this. Clay Thompson, Jamal Murray, Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Zach Levine, and hold on to your hats. And fucking Luka Doncic. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, wait, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Julius don't pass. He don't pass. Right? Oh, see, hold up. Yeah, he had four oh, dimes last year. Pace. We know. He's, yeah, on, he's on pace. He's on pace. Prepared. He's on pace. Second. Yo, he don't pass, right? All right, so he don't pass. He's third in the NBA among power forwards <laughs> in assists. Do you know who's number one? Is anybody, anybody? Anybody in the chat? Waldenados? Anybody? <laughs> Yo, the man... Is the MVP is number one, Giannis, and he's third in assists, right? Yo, yo, what? I, he needs more. <laughs> I keep going. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the turnovers, right? Everybody says it's the turnovers. Stupid. All right, so let's talk about turnovers. He's thirteenth in the league currently in turnovers. Again, would you like to hear the list of people that are worse <laughs> than him? Bradley Beal, Jeru Holiday, Ja Morant. Andre Drummond, your boy Russell Westbrook, Kawhi Leonard, Yamit Fox, Devin Booker, Luka Doncic, Oof. Giannis, Trey, and your boy James Harden. All right, you know what? Julius Randle's overpaid, right? Let's say he's overpaid. At $18 million a year, he's a waste of money. Let's get rid of him. All right, let's look at some of the dudes that's paid, getting paid more than him. Alan Crabb, Evan Oof. Turner, Tyler Johnson, Harrison Barnes, Chandler Parsons, and Nicholas Batum. Now, you telling me any of them cats is better than Julius Randle? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm over the cap. <laughs> After he broke his leg the first time. Oh, my God. He He's, got the first He's got He's more. He's got more. He's got more. 78 games per season, 
78 games per season on average after he broke his Oof. leg. So your man is young, he's durable, he has all-star potential, and he's on an under-market contract. You know what I'm saying? So when people say, oh, you can't rebuild in New York, they're talking about Ari. Because fans like Ari always complaining about the plays they have when they, you know, they're not even looking at what they have. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, Young Buck, before you try to call me out or say I ain't going to call, <laughs> yo, he could have called zero points. He could have got zero points. And I would still call, and I'll still defend him. All you know right, all but right. It's an 82-round fight. It's an 82-round fight, and I'm in it to win it. In it to win it. Sergio oh, from Jersey, J. Ellis. Oh, oh, he's, they're setting it up for the super fight. They're oh setting God. it up for the super fight. The fans want to see it. JL, just when he, you know, we, we thought Sergio, you know, he got the belt. We thought he was going to rest on his laurels. Oh, you know what I mean? Just enjoy oh. the victory. He came back stronger, man. Yeah. With, like with, he, with, 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 with stats. He learned from yesterday. He was like, oh, Ari got stats? Fine. I'm going to come back with stats. Came back with a few stats of his own. Hey. Uh, I'm, <laughs> he's like, oh, he wasn't efficient. Well, he was one of the most efficient power forwards last season. Oof. But I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to give you the per numbers. I'm going to give you three point numbers. I'm going to give you all the numbers. I'm Oof. Oh, Ser Sergio comes back with the Gatling gun. I mean, I thought he was just going to be chilling, man. I thought he was just going to chill, hang up with the boots tonight, and just listen in. Oof. He came in like Dylan spitting hot fire. Oof. Oh, man. my God. <laughs> Oof. Was that Ether? I mean, so I saw Ether in the chat. So. Somebody said Ether in the chat. So. Uh-oh. Man. All right. Oh. All right, Tails. Well, let's, um... Let's get down to business here, man. Mm -hmm. the, the Battle of the Fans first edition was uh, was a success. Yeah. Uh, we, we thought both fighters had retracted to their respective corners after the first fight. But it seems like they want some more. Jesus. So, we got Ari on the line. Ari's ready to go. Ari, are you there? I'm here, yeah. Yep. All right. Cool. I had the poll set up too already. <laughs> you got you got the poll set up already. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see if this one's public. Let's see if this. Hang one's on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is Sergio on the line? <laughs> What's up, Ari? What's up, bro? Yeah, this nigga's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be mad, bro. Don't All be right, mad, hang bro. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me get my music on here. Let don't me get be my mad. Music don't on. be mad. Let me, let me get no, my music no, 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 mad. All right, we, we, uh... You know, but technically, tech gentlemen... Well, we got, well, we got to let, we got to let Ari go, because, because you know, Sergio, you, you, you left off. No, really, a third fight really isn't necessary, but okay, go ahead. Let's All right, go. Ari, okay. Ari, kick it off, man. Round one. Let's go. All right, well, first of all, first of all, the only reason why anybody even knows who you are, Sergio, is because of me. So you can just keep it clean. Keep it clean, keep it clean, man. Keep it clean, keep it clean. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, all right, number two. Those feelings are hurt, son. <laughs> all, 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 those stat, all those stats you, uh, you pulled up, you Yo. know. But you I, said numbers don't that. lie. That's what you said. Numbers don't no, lie. No, I, I know. I know numbers don't you lie. You said but numbers don't lie. But I just gave like... to you what you gave to me, my man. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, 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 rock, rock out, baby. Rock you out. Made, yeah, I'm you made one mistake. We made one mistake, man. You, your stats were all from every single year besides the one year he's on our actual team. Like, I don't care what he did in 2000. No, 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 no. That's what because if, somebody you know said I, mean? I was using a one-game sample size. So I used a full-season sample size. And yeah, as far as a completely point different one, role I used that from last different year. team at a completely different oh, coach, but I completely different yesterday. system, that completely oh, different team, salary, a completely yeah. different team with a completely different coach with completely different players. Oh, so you're just parroting yeah. what I told you yesterday? No, what Basically, I'm trying to what explain to you is those stats. Those stats are meaningless because they're not of this season, and we don't care what he did two years ago. We care what he did now. And that's the whole so point. So then why did we give him that's a $63 million contract if it, if it ain't about his numbers from last year? I don't know. Maybe because man, he's you reaching. Reaching. You freaking reaching. retarded. I don't know. You know what? Give me another that's contender, why. bro. <laughs> give me another contender. Oh, okay. All right. Let me ask you another question. 
Why were all your statistics? I didn't see anything about defensive statistics. Yo, basketball where was the defensive reference? statistics? All right, let me ask you a question. What NBA are you watching? You you stuck in the I'm 90s. The NBA. Okay, what NBA are you watching? Who plays I'm defense in today's NBA? I'm, Maybe I'm what, watching 10 players? NBA. Like 10 players I'm watching say the NBA that they that play Julius Randle turns the ball over six times a game, goes five for 15, and doesn't pass the ball to R.J. No, I just gave you 13 other so, players who are worse than him, and they are MVP caliber players. And you trying wait, to crap who's on them. And, yo, I'm wait, just being, wait, wait, I'm wait. just going after Julius yo. because you were shitting on him. Had yo, who is an so MVP hard, caliber player? Who is an MVP caliber player that better than, who that's worse than Julius Randle? Are you kidding me? You sound like Republicans, isn't even an old star. You sound like Republicans, bro. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding you know me? Name, name an MVP caliber player that's better that is that, that's worse than Julius Randle. Name, name an MVP caliber. No, we talking about Julius turnovers, Randall's my man. Turnovers. Player? You said turnovers. You know, every yeah. point that you put out, I smacked it down. You said so, turnovers. turnovers and I gave you thirteen players, MVP yeah, caliber no. players. That turnover because, the ball more than he does. Because they're point guards. And you crying and about turnovers. And James Harden and Russell Westbrook have the ball in their hands all game. Of course all they're going to have more turnovers. Is Julius the usage forward. up? Name is, are you look, kidding me? Look at the basketball reference. Look at basketball reference. Every year his Dude, usage that's, that's, up, that's his idiotic. turnovers that's, that's went up. That's legitimately idiotic. That goes up with usage. No offense. That goes up with usage. No offense. That's, Any player that handles no, no, the ball no, more no. is going to turn the ball over more. He's not a guard. Yeah, who handles the ball more, James Harden or Julius Randle? That's why he turns the ball it over more. It depends on what team you play on. It more. depends on what team you play on. If you're playing on the Knicks, oh, it's Julius Randle. It was a shooting game. That's the whole point of this debate. Eighteen million dollars, Julius Randle. So. And Dude, what's really Julius funny is Randall. I'm not his uncle. I'm really not his uncle. <laughs> I'm just an instigator. <laughs> You were talking smack. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't really care about your fanboys. You were just talking smack, and I had to come in here and I had to smack you down. No, 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 no. You yeah, know what it is? You're talking nothing. You're talking nothing. You're a typical. You said I'm a delusional Knicks fan. You are a typical Knicks fan. You're the no, Knicks no, no, fan no. that always You're a delusional Randall fan. Until uh, the front office gets under enough pressure, and then they blow it up because it's people like you always crying. Yo, my dude. When did I ever say? These, when these did players I, when did... are good. These players are good. All right, so maybe the coaches suck. Are they? All right, are they? They're, maybe they're so Julius good. doesn't know how to pass every now and again. Yeah, maybe his IQ is low. But you know what? It'll get better. The same way he's gotten better every year he's played. Look, we just said yeah, earlier. Every year so he's it not like responsible Julius to be the number one guy. open up a little bit about passing and, and trying to make the right plays. So, yo, this is what we're going to do to settle this. This is an 82-round fight. This is what we're going to do to settle this. I want T-shirts made. A T-shirt with a garbage can with Julius Randle's head popping out, and it's going to say on top, Julius is trash, and on the bottom, it's going to say hashtag Team Ari. We're going to get another shirt with Julius's face. He's going to have little hearts in his eyes. And <laughs> Yo, what happened to Sir? Wait, yo, Sergio, still there? Where'd he go? Oh, man, what Where'd happened? He go? He got, guys, guys, connection. guys talking about... James Harden turns the ball over more than, than Julius Randle, so Julius Randle's better than James Harden. Is this guy retarded? Is, this, is that a real comment? What, what are you seriously? Like he is Yo. just an instigator. He's just trying to get a, he's trying to get my clout. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get my clout and get Jay Ellis to make t shirts. Sergio, <laughs> man. Clout, Sergio. Bro, right? Sergio, if you don't return back to the ring, that's a ten count, man. We gotta I give this one to Ari, man. Right, I didn't, I didn't cut him off. His, his I mean, line is still he's, open. He's, 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 he's citing turnovers, <laughs> being like, it's just such a oh my god, man. Does he watch uh, basketball? Saying MVP, MVP players are worse than Julius Randle. You kidding me? We have talented uh, players. You sound like Republican. We have the third. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's, he's like back. He's back. <laughs> Sergio, what happened, man? We thought we lost you, man. What happened? Nah, nah. My, I'm using my mic by accident. But, yo, what I was saying was, this is the 82-round fight, right? Me and Ari can't go back and forth every game. And I don't know if you heard me, Ari. I'm not really that. I love Julius Randle as a player, but I'm not his uncle. And the only reason I even got into this is because you were talking mad nonsense. So I had to come in here and smack you down. But I can't smack you down every other time he does good, and you can't come at me every time he does bad. So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna you don't want to play that game. We're going to get the T-shirts, bro. We're going to get T-shirts. 
Yo, a T-shirt with a garbage can with Julius's face popping out the top. It's going to say Julius is trash, Team Ari on the bottom. If I lose at the end of the season, I'm going to come down to the bar, I'm going to wear that shirt, and everybody's going to take pictures, and I'm going to buy a round of drinks. You know oh, but hey. okay, you but, lose, but what's hey. the you lose, man? I want you to get extra large, dude. I know you. Don't worry. I get just at the, at the children's aisle. Don't worry. <laughs> but yo, I want Julius's face on a shirt with hearts in his eyes, and it says, I love Julius, and it's going to say, hashtag Team Julius, and you're going to wear it. Because we can't do this every time. Ari, is that, is that a bet? Are you accepting this bet, Ari? Are you accepting this bet? Yo, put your money where your mouth well, is. What, but what is, what, what, what is, the, like, how do we decide who wins? What is going to be the ultimate yeah. factor? You saying Julius is trash. I'm saying Julius, Julius, by the end of the season, is going to have a better season than what you're saying he is. And what does that mean? Yeah, you don't know what I'm saying it is. Right we, we now, got, we so need, right a, now, we need yeah, an, objective, uh, an objective measure. What's he doing, 16 and 9? I guarantee you think he's going to be an all-star? Season, you think he's he's gonna gonna be an all-star? At least 18 or 19 a game. No, I don't care about I don't care about how many points he gets a game. I care about his field goal percentage, his turnovers, and his win shares and that. Is he going to be an all star? Yo, Do you think he's going to be an all star? It's all. It's all. I'll give you two to one. It's I'll all give you two to one that he's not an all star. And what it is right now, it's all going to improve. I guarantee it. All of it. Yeah, all right. it can only improve. He's, he's starting we need numbers. The we need, we need numbers, man. We need numbers, fellas. We need numbers, yeah, man. We, we might have to decide on numbers. Um. Off air facts, facts, Yo, facts, man. Clarify what good fight, good fight, good fight, yeah, good yeah, fight, yeah, fellas. Yeah, yeah. Throw your winners in the chat. Throw your winners in the chat. Yeah. Ari versus Sergio, round two. Round, round. Is that three? Is it three? Well, that who was two. Now? That was two. Yeah, who, who, who won, man? Who, who won? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, but I got the polls up in my, in my uh, chat. <laughs> you Throw your winners in the chat. What do you guys say in the chat, man? You now we got to get these shirts made. Yeah, if you click the eye on my top right corner, you can vote right yeah. there. Sergio, Ari, or draw. Chat. I don't know why draw is still there, but it's there. Chat's rolling. Chat's rolling with Ari tonight. If Team Ari wins it tonight. Looks looks like it. It looks like Ari, Ari's. Oh, but I'm seeing some Sergios now. All right, we're coming close to election day, man. We're about a, a year away from election day, JLs. It's getting toasty in here. Tony P, what's going on? Sergio, 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 Sergio RG, Ari. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of Aries, man. I'm seeing a lot of Aries. Um, let's go to the phones. Let's see what uh, let's see what some of these guys on the phone think. Let's start with um, Cole from New Jersey. Cole, who do you think won that fight, man? We'll get back to your point, but who do you think won that fight? <laughs> yup. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure what Cole was doing. All right, Blake. Yeah, Cole. Blake, who won that fight, man? Dude, you asked me this the other night, and I was debating whether I wanted to go with Ari or Sergio. But if it's not Sergio by, or if it's not Ari by a mile tonight, I don't know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> Ari by a mile, and it's not right. even close. All right, all right, hang, hang tight, Blake. Hang, what I was gonna talk about. hang tight, hang tight, Blake. We're gonna get right back to you, man. Um, James from Brooklyn, who won that fight tonight, man? I'm gonna go ahead and say Sergio. Oh, you have okay. Too much. Yeah, you have you have too much facts and stats to come up against. And the thing about Randall right now is that um, Randall's playing great basketball. Um, outside of his five for thirteen shooting tonight, he's no longer running point, but he's doing his thing. And I I, I like okay. the way he's been playing the last few games. Hang hang on one second, man. Hang on. Um, Q, you still there? Who won that fight tonight, man? <laughs> Yo, you know who won that fight. <laughs> you know who won that fight. Ari won that fight. Um, everybody got a plan until you get punched in the mouth. Ari punched him right in the mouth. And, you know, Sergio all on stats, but I'm an old school Knicks fan. I've been a Knicks fan since five years old. So, you know, stats are great. Sergio did get him when he talked to him about stats because Ari did pull up the stats card. But let's be real. At the end of the season... Who will judge Randall? The fans. And we're going to want Randall out of town. That's all I want to say. Peace. <laughs> Thank you. Just the mic. Carlo, Carlos from Jersey, man. Who, who won the fight tonight, man? I, I was late catching that, but it's, it's a tough call, man. You guys tell me who won the fight. I just have one quick point about Fizdale. 
right, all right. We're going to get back to your fish point one second. I think Ari won tonight, JLs. Yeah. I, I think Ari won tonight. Um, listen, I, stats can only tell you one thing. You, you know what I mean? You, you can, stats are like, are like political polls. You know, you could always, yeah. you could always twist the numbers to make it look a certain way. I mean, I remember one time they were looking at, uh, either wind shares or, or PER when they were talking about Rudy Gobert and it was like better than Michael Jordan. Like, you know what I mean? It was yeah. just like, come on, you know, you, you gotta, you, you, yes, stats are, can tell you something, but you also got to put it together with the eye test. And, and, you know, c- combine it to, to really tell you the full picture. Yeah, some people can manipulate stats to kind of... Uh, easily, easily. Through. Like, somebody was trying to tell me last a uh, few years ago that Kyle Quinn was better than than um, KP. Yeah, because never in a million a, years. A better uh, plus minus or something. I was like, no, you, you bug Yeah, <laughs> no, you, you, can't, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see... I'm, I think I'm leaning towards Ari as well, only because... Of the last year's stats thing, right? Um, maybe Sergio should have leaned more on the potential argument than the stats argument. Okay, I agree. And then with maybe, that. And, and then maybe he would he he, he might have edged it out, but he he went with the stats argument. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's have a couple more people. Uh, Chris from Jersey, who won the fight tonight, man? I I don't know. I mean, I think that um, Sergio was just talking about why the Knicks signed him. You know, because he was just comparing stats from last year. And Ari's just saying how Randall sucks this year, you know. But that's what I mean. Like, that's going to tell you one thing. Like, you know, Bill Belichick wasn't the greatest coach forever, you know. Like, you know, he yeah. sucked at one point when he was with the Browns. But now he's, like, this great coach. But I definitely think that Ari kind of won because, like, you know, Randall is just, he's not that go-to player and he's not that player that, you know, that that that, that the Knicks kind of need. Like, they, were, they, were, they wanted something better than Randall, but they kind of, like, settled for Randall. But, yeah. You know, I I really think that Ari won this fight. Okay, all right, I appreciate the call, man. Um, yeah, like, go ahead, Jails. Uh, Randall looks like a grooming thing too, because you forget Randall looks like a grown man, but Randall's only twenty four. He's only twenty four, man. He's a young guy. Yeah, he's not. He's like a couple of years away from his prime, and it's his first time being the guy, the guy. So he's gonna have to grow too into that role. So agreed, agreed, who knows agreed. What yeah. Los Main from North Carolina wants to chime in. Los Main, who won the fight tonight, man? Hey, Serge all day. I'm <laughs> going with Serge. <laughs> Always I'm going with Serge because he brought in stats. And I think Ari, he kind of just, you know, he brought in stats too. But I'm going I'm going with Serge, and that's all I got to say. All Serge. right, Los Main, appreciate the support, man. Always in here. Thank you, bro. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, last but not least, Delano from North Carolina. Both of them North Carolina. Delano, what's going on? Do you, do you know Los Main, Delano? Yes, yeah, hello. What's going on, everybody? Nah, nah, I don't know him. <laughs> All right, yeah, who, who won the fight city, tonight? I don't man. know. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I got Ari winning this one. Um, everything that um, Sergio was naming, that's great. You know what I'm saying? That you know PER and all that good stuff, efficiency, great analytic stuff. At the end of the day, all that numbers that you naming did that equate to the wins? Didn't because didn't. what I saw is you still a lottery team. You was naming guys that was in the playoffs. Oh, he was better than C.J. McCollum. C.J. McCollum was the second option on the playoff Good team. Good point. You, name, you know, it, like you don't name these guys and then turn around and sit there and you know, like, come on, you bugging right now, thinking yeah. that <laughs> Julius Randle is going to be better than C.J. McCollum. He's going to be better than Bradley Bill. He wasn't worth the money. He was not worth $21 million on any given Sunday. I'm sorry. That's that's just my opinion. The guy ain't worth that money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, if we want to sit there and rattle off all these stats and all that, the biggest one I'm looking at is the, the columns that, that matter the most, W's and L's. And right now, the way it looks, you ain't equipped. You, ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't in tribute to all of them uh, W's. So, you know, be a great second option somewhere else. Okay, way, way, way to close it, man. Couldn't have said it better yeah. myself, Jails. That one will close it off nicely, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I will say I don't think we overpay for him. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll that's one thing. Yeah, the contract is okay. I'm okay with yeah. it. Yeah, we didn't overpay for him. I'm okay with it. 